Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm recording this in early May 2015. Microsoft just released an update for the Xbox 360. Thanks to this update, the Xbox can now utilize up to 2 terabytes from each connected USB drive. According to the documentation on Xbox.com, the previous maximum was 32 gigabytes, so this is a pretty large improvement. In the rest of the video, I'm going to explain how I consolidated storage use on my console. There's some caveats still with this, so it may prove useful for you. Previously, my system had four storage devices. There was the built-in internal flash, as well as an internal hard drive that I had installed. I also had two 32 gigabyte USB drives connected. I'm taking advantage of the update to replace the two flash drives I have connected with a one terabyte hard drive. I've connected the hard drive here, but it's not showing up in the storage list. This is because the console still only supports two simultaneously connected USB drives. By removing one of the USB drives and reconnecting the hard drive, it now appears in the list. I'm going to format the drive because there's stuff on it I don't want to keep. I just want to dedicate this to the console. So I'm highlighting the drive, pressing Y to enter the device options, and then choosing Format. The format will start. With the format complete, I'm going to name the drive something that will help me identify it. So again, go to device options, you can choose rename, and type in any name you want. With the hard drive ready, I want to go ahead and move the content from my flash drive over onto the hard drive. You can move or copy files individually, or use the transfer content option from one drive to another. Installed disk-based games cannot be moved or copied either way though, you'll just have to reinstall those later. Let's do the content transfer, as that's pretty easy. Back out to the menu showing the list of content, press Y to transfer content, and select a destination drive. Here I'm picking the new hard drive, of course. If you wanted to, you could filter by the type of content you want to move over. Here I really only have games and apps anyway, so I'm just going to kick off the transfer. Depending on how much data you have, you probably want to just kick this off at a time when you can walk away from the console for a while and come back later. It takes a while to complete. In my case, it took about an hour. Okay, the transfer is done. I've removed the flash drive, and you can see on my hard drive I have all the content that was there. I'm going to start one of the games and make sure it works. And this doesn't really spoil anything, but it worked out just fine. So now I have a terabyte of external storage connected to my 360, which is pretty cool. I like to install all my disk-based games as it helps to improve load times when playing those games. It also helps to reduce wear and tear on the optical drive on the system. I also like to switch which games I'm playing pretty often, so the increased storage capacity is really handy here. I can manage that a lot better now. Alright, hopefully this video helped you out. Take care everybody.